the only way in which we can compare amounts of substances to each other in stoichiometric calculations is by making sure that they all have the same units and that is by converting them into an amount of moles. So there are normally four ways in which amount of substance is given to us that is either as a mass of substance which is usually for solids they can also be given as a volume of substance in which case most of the time that is for gases and they can be given as a concentration and a volume that would be for solutions and then it is also occasionally the case where you are given a specific number of atoms in which case you can convert that to a number of moles. Now there are formulae for each of these. We'll start with converting a mass to a number of moles. And we say that the number of moles of a substance is equal to the mass of that substance divided by the molar mass of that substance. In this case, the mass was given as 150 grams. The molar mass we can calculate as the sum of the molar mass of sodium plus that of chlorine, which is 58 0.5 in total, which means that 150 grams of sodium chloride is the equivalent or is exactly 2.56 moles of sodium chloride. The second way in which you can be given an amount of substance is as a volume at STP. STP refers to standard temperature and pressure and it basically says that at standard temperature and pressure one mole of any gas occupies the same volume and that volume is 22.4 cubic decimeters. So we can use the following formula, number of moles is equal to the volume of that substance divided by the molar gas volume. In this case we were given 76 moles. The molar gas volume at STP is 22.4 and we can then see that 76 cubic decimeters of oxygen at STP is exactly 3.39 moles of oxygen. The next most common one would be to be given a solution in which you are given a volume of substance as well as a concentration and you can calculate the number of moles using the following formula. Number of moles is equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume. Concentration always measured in moles per cubic decimeter 0.4 multiplied by the volume, always measured in cubic decimeters, 124. And therefore our number of moles is 49.6, which basically tells us that in a 0.4 molar solution of hydrogen chloride that has a volume of 124 cubic decimeters, there are 49.6 moles of hydrogen chloride. The last one, when we are given a number of atoms, we can convert that into a number of moles by dividing it by Avogadro's number. So we say the number of atoms that were given divided by Avogadro's number, the number of particles in one mole, and that is 1 times 10 to the 20, the given amount, divided by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23, the constant, which means that our number of moles here is 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 4 moles of iron.